<sighs> All right, another week, another episode of Anime Connect. Let's get to it. I'm exhausted. Don't sound too enthusiastic about it. Yeah, yeah, enough of your snarky remarks. All right, kicking us off, the Avatar The Last Airbender YouTube channel posted a teaser about an upcoming fan-made Avatar series that is set to debut on April 22nd. Along with that, we will be getting a full trailer appearing on April 19th on the YouTube channel. This comes after Nick's big announcement that they were creating an Avatar studio to further explore the world of Avatar The Last Airbender. Hopefully next week we'll be able to see how fans react to this mini-series. The third of five planned compilation films for the Gundam Reconstructia in G anime will open in Japan on July 22nd. As well, there are a few new teaser for the film, as well as a video message from the creator. Netflix also announced on Twitter on Monday that it will stream Sunrises and Legendary Pictures live-action Hollywood Gundam film, and that Jordan Vaught Roberts, the director of Kong Skull Island, will direct and produce the film. I am super excited to see this movie come, so I hope it is really good. Funimation announced on Wednesday that it will be adding the following titles from NIS America to its following catalog on April 15th. Daily Lives of High School Boys, Arikawa Under the Bridge Seasons 1 and 2, Bunny Drop, Chronicles of the Going Home Club, Genshin Second Season, Gashly Prince, Enema Burning Up, If Her Flag Breaks, Kimi no Todoki, From Me to You Seasons 1 and 2, Natsu's Book of Friends Seasons 1 through 4, Pandora Hearts, and Sakoru. In other news, Crunchyroll also announced on Wednesday that it will be streaming English, Portuguese, Spanish, French, and German dubs for the anime 86 light novel series. The company will reveal more details at a later date. As well, they announced on Thursday that the following animes will be leaving the service on April 21st. We have Miku... the Meku City Actors. We have La Cordora de Ono Primo Paso and Secondo Paso. Miracle Train, Sound of the Sky, Mitsu Dawn Seasons 1 and 2, Huru Ro Musoku Wandering Sun, The Idol Master, Dog Day Seasons 1 and 2, Ghost Slayers Ayashi, and the RH Plus live action series. Be sure to watch those as quickly as you could before then. Well guys, it's time for the Quick Draws, brought to you by no one. This week we don't have a sponsor, so just on to the Quick Draws. Square Enix confirmed on Friday that Shinochi Fudoka's My Dress Up Darling manga is inspiring a television anime. The announcement came in this year's ninth issue of Square Enix's Young Gangan magazine. This comes after Amazon may have accidentally leaked the announcement by displaying the cover of the magazine earlier than anticipated. Manga creators Sui Ishida, Tokyo Ghoul, and Reiju Maijiyama, Rent a Girlfriend, posted Attack on Titan fan art on their personal Twitter accounts to commemorate the release of the manga's final chapter on Friday. I have to say, Chizuru looks so cute! Like, oh! Best girl. The official website for the TV anime of Senri Gensu, Spirit Chronicle Light Novel, posted the first fully promotional video and the first key visual for the anime on Friday. The video reveals previews for the opening theme song and it also reveals the ending theme song's artist. The website also announced the first game in the franchise. That's a lot of announcements for this series, so let's hope it lives up to its hype. In more Netflix-related news, Netflix announced on Twitter on Friday that the fourth season of Castlevania, the series will be streaming on May 13th and it will be the final season. Entertainment news website Deadline reported on Friday that Netflix is eyeing new series set in the same universe with new cast of characters. Netflix shared Deadline's article on Twitter as well as the trailer for the new season. A website opened on Saturday to announce that author Kata Yanogani and illustrator Kususaga Rin's The Farewell Paddlin light novel series is inspiring a TV anime adaptation that will premiere this October. This looks to be another good series that I will be looking forward to, so be sure to check out our anime review channel for a potential review for it. Alright, finally, for our final story, some more updated news for the Quintessential Quintuplets. The official Twitter account for the Quintessential Quintuplets TV anime announced on Sunday that the Quintessential Quintuplets movie sequel will be opening next year. The film news came out during an evening session evening session of the quintessential quintuplets second special event in 2021 in Nakokano Sun Plaza. 
I thought that when they first announced a second se a second sequel, that they were actually going to be doing a full season, but it turns out that it will be a movie. I wonder if the movie will finally reveal which quintuplet he actually ends up with. And with that, guys, I am absolutely exhausted with a lot of behind the scenes work on our YouTube channel, so there's some big cool things coming up. But anyway, come back next week for some more anime news. Till then, guys.